Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. Time to preview the game, West Bromwich Albion versus Arsenal. I'm actually over in Germany at the moment. We've been doing some great content over here. Um, look out for that next week on uh, Arsenal Fan TV because uh, one of the things we're doing, we're taking a look at Borussia Dortmund's atmosphere. Remember a couple of months ago, we'd done this podcast about atmosphere. Taking a look at Dortmund's atmosphere and seeing what we can do to try and bring something like that to the Emirates. So... Next week, you'll be able to see more of that. But right about now, time to get into the game. And it's a big game for Arsenal. Listen, no matter what you think, it's very important that Arsenal get into the top four. Whether you want Wenger in, whether you want Wenger out, if Wenger's in next year, he needs to be in the top four in order for us to attract players. If Wenger's out next year, the new guy needs to be able to attract players. So it's very important that Arsenal get into the top four. I know top four is not a trophy or whatever, but top four for a team like Arsenal is important because we're not Manchester United where we can still attract very big players if we don't have that lure of Champions League football. And Arsenal then is going to be under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure because it's a Tony Pulis team. They're going to be very well organised. We saw when they came to the Emirates, we only just scraped a 1-0 win against them. So it's going to be a difficult game. They're going to be very well organised. Um, and also, there's more protests planned. There's a, a plane, apparently, that's been chartered that's going to fly over uh, the Hawthorns with a banner on it saying that uh, Wenger should leave. Uh, all of that's planned. So there'll be a big spotlight and focus. It's the 12.30 kickoff. So everything's going to be focused on that game. So... A big performance is needed by Arsene Wenger and the team, and it's not going to be easy. Last year, we lost at the Hawthorns. Uh, our away form has been patchy at best. You don't know what Arsenal's going to turn up game after game. And our Premier League form has been terrible this 2017. So it's going to be a really tough game. And uh, West Brom under Pulis, they've been playing really well this season. Over 40 points already this season. Uh, they've got some good players in Rondon. Chadley who used to play for Spurs. has been playing really well for them this season. And of course, we know that when they play against Arsenal, they adopt a typical style of Tony Pulis football, which can be very effective, which is basically lumping a lot of balls up front, getting the ball in quickly, um, aerially to the big guys like Rondon, working lots of things from set pieces. So if that Arsenal defence is not alert, and not strong in midfield, we can lose this game. And we, we need to win this game. We're five points behind Liverpool now, who are in fourth place. We do have two games in hand, but we really need to start making up ground. And if we don't, we will not get into that top four. And I, for one, I don't want to be playing our Europa League football next year. I want to be in the Champions League. Um, Arsenal, what sort of team should they go for? Now... You know, the formation of this team is going to be very, very important. And I've gone for a particular team. Let me give you my team. Um, in goal, Petr Cech. Right back, Hector Bellerin. Had a much improved game last week against Lincoln, I felt. Um, and also, I thought, played pretty well in the first half against um, Bayern Munich. Mustafi, again, first half against Bayern Munich was good. Koscielny, and I'd go Monreal. Gibbs, I don't know, man. Everybody's been calling for Gibbs to come in, but... For me, when Gibbs has come in, he's looked even more shakier than, you know, Monreal is. Plus as well, uh, I think Gibbs is carrying a bit of an injury anyway. He's a doubt for the game. So definitely go with Monreal. Um, now, the centre of midfield, Granit Xhaka, I would definitely have him there. And next to him, I would not have Coquelin. I would go with Mohamed Elneny, who apparently is back to fitness Coquelin has not been having a good time of it recently. And if a player's not playing well and he's off form, leave him out. El Nini is the sort of guy that I think will do well in a game like this. He'll be, you know, chomping at the bit. He'll be closing players down. I know he's not the most creative player in the world, but he can be a bit of a destroyer. So I'd go with El Nini. Just in front of him, Mesut Ozil, I thought, I know he's only Lincoln City, but was kind of back to his best last week when he came on. I liked how he played, obviously. He's not going to be afforded that room at the Hawthorns by the West Brom players. They'll be closing him down. They'll be getting very physical on him. But I would definitely have him in the team. Um, now, Oxley chamberlain looks like he's a doubt for the game. And if Ox was fit, I would have had him probably next to Shaka. 
But it looks like Oxlade-Chamberlain may be out in this game. So out on the right-hand side, it's got to be Theo Walcott. 17 goals in all competitions. I cannot believe that he's been left out of the England squad. Absolutely ridiculous. But then I think that's our benefit because he'll play better. I saw a quote yesterday. I think it's from Clive um, AFC who, who does... Um, He's been on our podcast before, who said something like, uh, an angry Walcott always plays better. And that is very true. He's got something to prove. And he's, he's scoring goals this season. He's looking sharp. He scored against uh, Lincoln last week, scored previously uh, against Bayern Munich. Uh, he's looking sharp at the moment. Walcott on the right-hand side. Um, on the left-hand side, now, actually, let me start with the middle first. Now, the middle's a bit of conundrum for me. Um, who plays a centre-forward? Now, it's West Brom. They're a big team. They're going to have lots of set pieces. Now, for me, if Danny Welbeck is fit, I would start with Welbeck down the middle. Um, Welbeck is a big guy, can help out at set pieces, and his pace in behind, that not the quickest of uh, West Brom's uh, defences, will be very, very important. But uh, that's if Welbeck's fit. We don't know. He's been had an illness recently. We don't know what that is. If he's not fit, then I'd go Giroud. Again, the reason why is because even though I'd love to have that pace in behind, I think it's important to have a big body in there, either Giroud or Welbeck, who can... We're going to have to be defending a lot of set pieces. I can envisage West Brom winning the ball in their own half and lumping it in. You know, they're going to be doing a lot of that. So players like Giroud or Welbeck, who've got a lot of physical presence, a lot of height, will be important. So one of those two... My preference is Welbeck if he's fit. If not, Giroud. Then out on the left-hand side, I go with Alexis Sanchez. I think that team is more than capable of beating West Brom if they can you know, get their form back. I think this is a game where Arsenal can start a runoff because it's a difficult game on paper. It's a game that wouldn't surprise anybody if we drew or lost um, the way we've been playing. They're under a lot of pressure, as I said, Planes flying over and things like that, which I'm not too in agreement with, by the way. Um, but this is a game that, if they win it, could be a bit of a turning point. And remember, we're going into an international break, and you never really want to go into an international break on a loss where you've got two weeks to just be, you know, worrying about, you know, the dipping form of the team. So important game for Arsenal, important game for Wenger. I think we will prevail in this game. I'm going to go for Arsenal winning it by two goals to nil. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. But it's a massive game at the Hawthorns. Arsenal versus West Brom.